Hey guys, Phil here from jailbreakitouch.com. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch using WinPoint, WinPoint 2.5 Beta. This is for 2.02, so firmware 2.02. Uh, in order to get your firmware 2.02, what you can do is you can go to your, uh, you can go to any torrent site and you can download it. Um, that'd be the best bet right now because Apple is only releasing 2.1 through their iTunes. So let's get this going. It's going to be a fairly short tutorial. So what you need to do is click on your iPod Touch. We're going to say 2.02. You're going to click on Next. Do you, want to, do you want to install YouTube activation? Say Yes. Do you want to use custom boot restore logos? Say Yes. What you're going to do from here is you can click on this little button down here that says Browse. Change that to Search Online. Uh, from there what you can do is WinPone has its own variety of, of images pretty cool stuff. So we'll just pick one once it's done loading. Let's double click this one here see it changes it for you. And this is your restore and we'll just click this one here. Click on next. Make sure that if you download a 2.02 .02 firmware make sure that you call it this iPod 1 comma 1 underscore 2.0.2 underscore 5c1 underscore restore. Uh, and drop it in your uh, drop it in your folder that has the uh, the iTunes firmware software. In order to do that, you can just go to my computer, go to local disk C, documents and settings, your name, application data, Apple computer, iTunes, iPod software updates. And you'll see where I have the most recent one right here. This is the first place it goes to take a look at it. And you can see it there. So it grabs it, and then what it'll do is it'll, it'll convert it to a custom, which will be dropped into your My Documents folder. So now it's going to build the custom IPSW. OK, so now it's telling us, do you want instructions how to enter DFU mode? Uh, I'll just say yes for now, just so you can see what they look like. So here are the instructions. We'll show you how to do it. So you want to make sure that your you want to make sure that your iPod is off. Then you'll see a countdown saying five to zero. It'll ask you to hold down the it'll ask you to hold down the power button. Then it'll ask you to hold down both the power button and the home button. Then the home button itself. Your screen will turn white, and then away we go. Make sure it's plugged in. Make sure that your iTunes is off and uh, let's go do this. So now it's preparing the Ponies DFU. It's asking for ready just to press OK and we're going to go OK. So first thing it's going to do is ask us to hold on to the hold on the power button which we're doing. You see that it turns on. And then the home button at the exact same time. And then let go of the power button at the top and what you'll see is your your iPod touch will turn white and that is normal don't panic you hear a bunch of beeping noises then once you hear that you can let go and you'll see that your iPod is now is now white So we'll just wait a moment, and now you can see that it is is ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to start up iTunes. You're going to hold down your Shift key, and then click on Restore. You're going to go to My Documents, which is where it saves it to, and you're going to find the one that says Custom iPod 202 5C1, and then click Open. It's going to go through the process of extracting the software. Okay, so I skipped ahead most of the, uh, I skipped ahead pretty much all of the, what it does. Um, if, you've done it, if you've done it correctly by doing the restore, you'll receive that, you'll receive that message. It's telling you that uh, your, iTunes, your iPod is going to re, it's going to shut down and reboot itself. Great band, by the way, Apostle of Hustle is pretty good. 
just got it uh, just got it today okay so now you can see on the you can see on the iPod itself that's it's telling you that everything is done at the very bottom here you can see where it says Cydia and install it it's pretty cool now I was going to say do you want to set up a new iPod or do a restore make sure you set up as uh, make sure you set up as a new one don't do any restores and then click on continue you can uncheck that for now name it whatever you want click on done then set the language then it's going to go sync if you don't want to that's it so what you can see at the bottom I'll just bring the brightness down so you can see it at the bottom you can see you can see Cydia installer and it looks like with the new looks like with the new one here they put on air sharing air sharing is really cool you can set up uh, you can map this. You can map your iPod, uh, your iPod Touch, as a, as a as a as a shared drive, and that's it. So that's how you jailbreak it uh, using WinPone 2.5. Uh, visit jailbreakitouch. Uh, I, I jailbreakitouch.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Ciao.